As you begin the wall workout, um, right now we're going to be doing what I call the handstand. Make sure you have a firm grip with your hands on the rebounder and also with your feet on the wall. I am going to be bouncing one foot off of the wall and I'm bouncing on the ball of my foot and keep your core engaged. body back and my legs are being pushed down. I do have my feet semi flat on the wall when I'm straight out but I will go on to the balls of my feet when I am rocked all the way in. side and then the other foot will be flat against the wall in what I call the low wall position and you're going to stretch your leg back the one that's on the rebounder and that's the leg you should be feeling it in you should be feeling it in your glutes as you bend that foot back
I have the balls of my feet and I'm doing a rocking motion and I'm um, emphasizing more with my knees being bent as I pull my core toward my um, upper thighs. Keep your core engaged. Jumping on the wall with one foot and the other leg is in a bent position. Make sure you keep your core tight and I'm bouncing off the ball of my foot. This time your foot is in uh, what I call the mid wall position. This allows you to go a little bit deeper in the move than when your foot's in the, on a low wall. So keep pushing back as far as you can until you feel it deep into your glute.
my feet are a little bit lower than they were in the last move when I was on my hands. And I'm making a more exaggerated move as I bring my knees down as far as I can. And then I bring them up and then I straighten my legs. that makes it a little bit harder because I'm taking one leg out. Keep your core engaged and my foot is on the ball my on the ball part um, when I'm on the wall. going back as far until you can really feel it and keep your core engaged.
my hands and I have my feet as high as I can get on the wall and I turn them to face the camera as I do the rock backs and this allows me to work my obliques more and my triceps on that side of my body as I'm rocking back and forth. Always keep your core engaged. Now I'm on my elbows and I'm doing just um, alternating bending my knees on. It's almost like a mountain climber move, but I'm on my elbows as I'm doing it. And um, this will really work your core. <laughs> Stand position. I have the balls of my feet in the wall and I'm always pressing them firmly into the wall along with my hands firmly into the mat of my rebounder. And I like to do that at the end to give my core a little more work because that my core is pretty tired by then. So make sure you keep your core engaged while you do it.
will be like the previous move, except I'm on my elbows and I have my feet as high as I can on the wall. I have them as flat on the wall as I can as I just hold this position. And I just concentrate the whole time I'm holding my core in. enjoy the wall workouts and all the workouts I do. Have a nice day.